Robert, I want to br briefly talk about run. a new Continental Congress with you and Joe Biggs. So don't hang out. Radio we'll Network. Go to everybody else, too. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy Powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy Powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy Powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine, it comes from over 200 100 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Rallying patriots worldwide in defense of human liberty. It's Alex Jones. Generals gathered in their masses. Just like Hillary Clinton at Black Masses. All right, uh, who are we just talking to? I guess Robert in Florida. After Joe Biggs leaves us, we'll talk to Kevin and Sarah and Bob and David and folks that have been patiently holding. David listening. Uh, on KGSO 990 AM in Louisiana. Before we go any further, he, uh, I mean, I get this call a lot. We need a new Continental Congress. Uh, we need to take Washington back. Three years ago, I wrote a new Declaration of Independence that actually got picked up and got a lot of attention. And we had a bunch of constitutional lawyers come on the left and right and say, no, that's a really good plan because that's basically what the founders did. We want to re-upload the republic because we can abolish the government and create a new form. Well, we've got a new form, the globalist. We want the republic back, the model of freedom worldwide. Doesn't mean we ever lived up to it, but it was certainly a great system compared to others. They've had continental congresses that I was invited to go speak to. They had a lot of prominent people like up at Jekyll Island, Georgia, where the Federal Reserve met at that hotel. Well, they rented it out into the same thing. It's kind of a, hey, you killed the country here. We're bringing it back here. You need to get governors and legislators and top prominent people 
and war heroes, you know, from the French and Indian War, like George Washington. You need to get those type of people at a constitutional Congress. And I wouldn't even expect to be at one of those. Uh, I'm more like a writer exposing what's happening like a Patrick Henry if you want to make those parallels. And I'm not comparing myself to Patrick Henry. I'm just simply saying I'm there to show people the problem and to be a watchdog on the new republic as well. And there was certainly fights that came in there. But march on Washington, have a con-con. If you look at the architecture of the John Warren Defense Authorization Act and all these preparations and the admissions of where the feds are trying to take over state governments and, and, and trying to block states like Texas when they said we're going to ban the TSA groping kids and Obama threatened an air blockade using F-16s. That was mainstream news. That's what their whole system's against is the states recognizing that the federal government's been taken over and is illegitimate, run by foreign banks, reconstituting the states, voting to declare the federal government illegitimate and having an emergency reorganization reverting to the senators being elected by the legislatures. So they're creatures of the states, bringing balance between federal and state-backed true federalism. The Democrats push federalism as if the feds run everything. That's not what federalism is. We have the opposite of our federal republic. We have a district of criminals itself captured, running us like colonies. We're right back where we were in 1775. And if they come for the guns, like 1775, it starts over again. History repeats itself. It's happening. So to answer your question, I don't speak six languages in Latin, and I didn't invent over a thousand things, and uh, I'm not a war hero, and, and, I, and so I'm not one of the founding fathers. Amongst historians all over the world, they say the founders were an exceptional group of people. They were as good as it gets, and that's why we have this country. They were the flower of the Renaissance. They were the best. And they weren't perfect, but let me tell you, they were, back then, being a rock star was being able to speak six, seven languages, being able to invent things, and be very polite, go out in the, in the road if somebody talked bad to you, and just say, get your gun, we're going outside, we're going to have a duel. A bunch of the founding fathers died or, were, or, or, or won duels. I mean, we're not like that today. You were rude to me. You you were just rude to me. Let's go outside. Let's kill each other right now. But it wasn't because they were macho. They were super polite. But, oh, you want to act tough? Let's go kill each other right now. I mean, that was a totally different group of people, folks, than what we are today. If you lied to someone back then, they would come after you. Totally different group of people. So I don't compare myself to that, but I've studied that. And I guess in our mutated form, I guess you could say I'm a 21st century version of one of those people. The point is, is that we haven't reached that level yet. We need to have the state start having serious hearings about this, put out resolutions. We need to have leaders at the state level come together and call for a summit, a pre-event. And believe me, that's the type of thing the globalists would bomb that. But then that would blow up in their face as well. I mean, this is serious. And I want to go to Joe Biggs in here with breaking news. But Robert, do you get where I'm going with all this from Florida? convey one thing you have enough followers and there's enough people there's a, there's millions of people all that needs to happen is a freedom march just uh, you know not, not nothing to take back washington but just pitch tent from the white house pitch tent in front of the senate building and say look we want the fluoride out we want the nukes oh we want the nukes we want that out we want the instigating war russia we want all these grievances addressed within a grace period you know a week or two. You. and you you you're you're really downplaying yourself i mean you you, you're confident, you, you know, don't get it wrong. You you are a modern-day founding father, but the job isn't done. We're, we can all have the possibility and the potential to be founding fathers. We just need to make, create a freedom march in remembrance of MLK and get up there and pitch tent, and that's the only way. And we need to do this before Jade Ham fully kicks off. No, I hear you. I mean, listen, I, listen, I, I appreciate your I appreciate you, and God bless you. Listen, if we try to march on Washington, they would A, ignore it, or B, put provocateurs in. If we started trying to camp on the White House lawn, they start arresting people. Then if they start shooting, we start shooting, 1776 starts again. I'm just saying it's a more sophisticated world today. And we need to get the legislatures going. We need to take the states back. That's where the real fight is. The focus keeps coming on the captured D.C. command base. We have to explain to people 
that they would basically just astroturf us and have a bunch of you know people show up saying we were racist or something. That's how they dumb things down. We have to first take the states back, and then that's the body to then move against the occupied government. We do need to have people camping out at the state houses instead of the socialists. We do need to take that back, and I agree with you, a lot of great ideas. You, if you look at where the enemy preparations are, it's to stop legislatures from not complying with the, with the illegitimate feds. It's for the military to take over legislatures in major cities. They're worried about the legitimacy of elected governments finally saying no, the feds being arrogant, not having support, and then they want to march the feds in like it's Eisenhower putting little black girls in Arkansas schools. No, no, no. It'll be the opposite of that. But, but that's how they're going to bill it. That's why they want to get us race warring and fighting with the local police ahead of all this so that that never happens. The entire enemy plan, the occupier plan, the Vichy French occupier program is all built around a state's movement to restore the republic. And the rest of the plan is then built around demonizing and drugging and hurting the veterans because they're worried about a core group who's ready to fight because they've canvassed them and they know they're awake. So you look at the enemy attack profile to see what they're scared of. You go to Media Matters, you go to the enemy publications, who are they attacking? This show. Because we've studied history, we know their operations, we know who they are, we know how to beat them. Here is the internal Jamie Dimon document, I'm going to cover that in Overdrive today, where he talks about they're ready to go into their fortress takeover. They've already taken over countless countries, they've done this over and over again, they know what they're doing. So we have to counter them with things that we know they know can defeat them. Joe Biggs joins us. Uh, last week, uh, he called and sent emails uh, to the National Guard because they've got the National Guard overseeing a lot of this uh, NORTHCOM, SOUTHCOM operation. And, of course, he's a former staff sergeant uh, in the military overseas and domestically, so he has a lot of contacts. And I've had Joe overseeing a lot of our Jay and Helm reporting. National Guard blocks InfoWars reporters from covering dirty bomb exercise. Captain cites nature of previous work as reasons for denial. Well, oh, so if you don't like what we have to say, then we're not allowed to be there. Well, a lot of this is in public, so you can't stop us. But they'll have cops come up and say, under them, going, where's your press pass? A First Amendment. I'm going to need you to come over here. Now, officer, you know you've lost lawsuits, and you can't make me not report. I'm not interfering with what you're doing. Just, you know, are you trying to stop us from reporting? But that's where this is going. And then now the new article, special ops veterans groups have launched counter Jade Helm Operation Initiative will observe the attempted infiltration of our towns. And this is to assess the local police and governments to see if they'll go along with a larger takeover and to begin these relationships. That's why many of these operations are very legitimate to deal with a dirty bomb, which, again, will probably be set off by the establishment, or to deal with a chemical plant blowing up. But behind that are the Delta Force people and others who are specialists at going into third world countries and in a year buying off almost every town and city official with huge satchels of cash or gold. And they've done this all over the U.S. since the days of Clinton. And if you don't believe me in your mainstream media, I know you won't search it, look up Associated Press, San Antonio, 1999, Alex Jones, Ali Philippus. You'll read the whole operation we blew wide open. And they got so mad, folks. They had special operations people threatening me in parking lots, uh, grocery stores, you name it. You know, coming up to me going, you better watch your butt. We're going to kick your ass. You know, you better stop messing with us. And I would just say, okay, you're big tough guys. Go ahead and attack me then. And then they left me alone. But I'm telling you, folks, this isn't a game. Now, Joe Biggs is here with us. Joe, you've been on this. Uh, let's get into them saying that, oh, you're, you're not welcome at this exercise. And then going into the big news that you vetted and checked some of the sources, uh, they're going to have a lot of special ops people, former, actually out there identifying these guys in these towns where they're practicing these infiltrations and exposing them. Joe Biggs. Well, the big issue is with the National Guard blocking us from coming out there is the fact that they said we wouldn't give fair coverage. Now, what I thought was fair coverage was both uh, someone who agrees with you and someone who disagrees to get both sides of the story. So who deems whether or not something is fair coverage? I mean, they're, 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 they're that scared to have us come in and report on what it is we see, talk about the truth. They just want some 
you know, lame reporter to come in there and just read off of a script. Well, we don't do that. Well, we were. So